is a sheepdog. But he's a pig. But he learned how to be a sheepdog. What's the name again? Babe. We should do this thing that we're doing. Good. Why do you always make me make the decisions? Hello and welcome to Entertainment Pride Vlogging, where you can procrastinate by watching my videos while I procrastinate by making these videos. I love that this is just like probably in game. There's like a little bone of hair there. I was gonna make this video on the 4th of July and then we ended up making pie instead. So now we're making it today. I am joined with a special guest today. Hey, look who it is. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Esther Park. I'm from South Korea and I met yes. her when I was a freshman. We took the same math class. You keep introducing yourself as Esther and I'm gonna call you Hyohyun the entire time. Oh yeah, I'm Hyohyun. There we go. Too. Yeah, that's, that's, that's my the Korean real name. name. Right, and then she always uses this. People can learn to say your name. I mean, they cannot really pronounce my name. H-Y-O-H-Y-U-N. Mm -hmm. Hyohyun. It's not that hard. Correct. So what am I gonna do today? Hyohyun? <laughs> She's just gonna ask me a bunch of questions about the U.S. history. Yes, so she was here for the 4th of July this year, for the first year ever, in Marca. And so we talked a little bit about U.S. history and how much she will know about U.S. history because we learn a lot about our own history, but I don't think anybody else really cares. This is kind of a play off of Evan Edinger's video that he did. We're gonna start off easy. Thanks. This one I know you know because you made fun of me for asking it to you on the 4th of July. Who was the first president of the United <laughs> States? That's that's more like common sense. That's See, she says it's common sense. I don't know. I don't know how much she knows. George Washington. George Washington. That is correct. Ding. Do you have like multiple choice or like no. all of them? They're all just that short answer. That is not answer. fair. I know. That is like worse than school tests. <laughs> how many colonies did the U.S. start as? Start. Yeah. Like so, at the beginning of the United States, how many colonies were there? I don't know, 13? Yeah, that is correct. <laughs> Follow-up question, what is the national symbol that represents the 13 original colonies? Symbols? Like, on the national flag? Yeah. Well, I remember, like, you guys have lots of stars, so mm -hmm. I think stars represent states. Mm -hmm. Stripe? That is correct. Dang, girl, that was some, that was some, <laughs> that was some great deduction. <laughs> Holy cow, that is exactly what it is. There Science are major. 13 <laughs> stripes on the United States flag. They stand for the 13 original colonies. Dang! What is the longest amount of time that someone can be president for? Well, Obama, it's the second time. Right. So, 10? First, first of all, how many years before they have to get reelected? Uh, five? Mm -hmm. Four? Yeah. Okay. So how many years can you be president for? Eight. Right. There you ah. go. What happened on the day which will live forever in infamy? So there's a really famous speech that one of the U.S. presidents gave. What happened on that day? Infamy? What is that? Infamy means like we're gonna remember it forever as like something like really important that happened. In kind of like a bad connotation. I see, like infamous. Okay. Right. Well, what's the question again? <laughs> <laughs> what happened in the day which will forever live in infamy? <laughs> okay. When Trump Here's... was nominated. No! <laughs> When you guys have only two <laughs> candidates for the scope of the Oh my word. word. Oh, don't, don't even remind me. What's the country that everyone in Asia hates? Japan. Right, so what did they do to us that will forever oh, love and infamy? Oh, the Pearl. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, the attacks on Pearl Harbor. Yeah. Yeah, after the attack on Pearl Harbor, um, the president gave a speech and he said this is a day that will forever oh. love and infamy. Because we, we celebrate like Pearl Harbor Day, which is... Oh. Yeah. What does impeached mean? Impeached? Mm hmm How do you spell that? I-M-P-E-A-C-H-E-D. You mean peaches? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Something that can happen to a president. Oh, I know that word in Korean. It's like people can like accuse something. Mm -hmm. So the president step down? Yeah, they get kicked out of office. Yeah. yeah. What was the deadliest war in U.S. history? Civil War? Yep. Because everybody that died was yeah. in the United States. Yeah. Follow-up question. What's the thing I told you about the Civil War? About why? Oh, the why? <laughs> why? <laughs> tell, the, tell the people. It's about the state rights um, right. to have slaves. Right. Who now will argue that it's it was about states' rights? Southerners. And who <laughs> argues that it was about slavery? Or the nurse. Yep. How many branches of government are there? Three. Good. Yeah. I did tell you that one earlier. I mean, we yeah, have the same system. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. What is the supreme law of the land? 
of the land? What is the supreme law of the land? Supreme law? Mm -hmm. Hint. Like what is the what is the one thing that everything else is like subject to? Is it the Bill of Rights, the Constitution, or the Declaration of Independence? Independence? No, actually, the Declaration of Independence is just we declared independence from Britain. We just said we're our own country now. The Constitution actually like lays out the laws. So everything that, every law that we have now has to be allowed through the Constitution. That's why the Supreme Court exists, is to decide whether or not things are constitutional. Who gave the famous speech that begins four score and seven years ago? Oh, is that Lincoln? Mm -hmm. Yep. And do you remember what Gettysburg. the name is? Yeah, look at you. I was just about to ask you. Remember uh -huh. what the name of the speech is? The Gettysburg Address. Yep. Okay, this is a really hard one, but um. I'm gonna ask you it anyway. It's okay if you don't know it. In what city was the Declaration of Independence signed? I mean, if you can give me the state, I will also be impressed. And the Liberty Bell, and we went there on a senior trip. Oh, Pennsylvania? Yeah. Yeah. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. How did you Liberty how did you, Bell? You know where the Liberty Bell is? How do you know where the Liberty Bell is? A uh, friend of mine. When they were in the computer. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Hint, he was a very strange man. Jefferson. Yeah. <laughs> Weird dude. I was thinking about it. Yeah. We were listening to Hamilton, and I was telling her about Jefferson and the mac and cheese thing. Thomas Jefferson went to France as a U.S. ambassador during the Revolutionary War, and he discovered macaroni and cheese, and he brought it back to the U.S., and when he became president, would, like, serve it for state dinners, and everyone thought it was really gross, but nobody wanted to, like, tell him that because he was, like, really excited because he really liked macaroni and cheese. Here's a kind of random one. What was banned during Prohibition in the 1920s? Drinking. Yeah, that's right. Alcohol. And what was the big thing that happened in the 1920s besides Prohibition? Uh, Great Depression. Yeah, dang girl. You know I love world history. Yeah, yeah that, that is more of a world history US thing. US history is part of that world is true. history. That is true. The science and the English and the history. Can I say? So, so talented. What can I say? And the math. We met in math class, too. <laughs> the whole package. Very stereotypical. <laughs> you need to show the camera your shirt. You showed it to Snapchat. I mean, I'll always be right, but I'm never wrong. Okay, so first of all, the easy question. If the president can no longer serve, who's next in line? Vice president? Mm -hmm. If the president and vice president can no longer serve, who's third in line? Um, secretary uh, of the state? Uh, no. No? I don't really know about American. Um, yeah, that's, I know this is, a, this is a hard one. I think most people, I would have probably guessed secretary of state too. That's a good, that was a good guess. It's actually the speaker of the house. Really? Mm -hmm. Vice president is like the ultimate job. Because unless something happens to the president, which is so, <laughs> like, the odds of that happening are pretty low, you literally do nothing. <laughs> like, you get paid to do nothing. You, like, like travel around. Paid. Yeah, exactly. You, like, travel around, you give speeches, <laughs> and you just, like, live. Like, it's the best job. You should go for it. I know. You have no responsibilities at all. That's like, what has taught you. Yeah. Nobody, nobody expects you to do anything. It's the, it's the best thing. It's, <laughs> that is my dream job, is just to be vice president of the United States. And then you get to say, I was Vice President of the United States. And then you sound really cool, even oh, though yeah. you did nothing. Yeah. Last question, which is the easiest one. When do we celebrate Independence Day? Fourth of July. That is correct. Yay! I'll put a little, I'll put a little applause behind this so that there's, there's more raucous applause than <laughs> just this slow golf clapping that we're doing right now. Oh wait, no, I brought you a, I brought you a, I brought you a something to commemorate. How, what a great job you did. Because I knew you were going to do a great job. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> That's for you. I'm so glad that you came and you answered questions for me. What should the people watching do? If you missed more questions than I did, mm -hmm. just um, be more interested in your own history. <laughs> oh, please. Oh, I'm not asking you to shame my viewers. <laughs> Go read a book. Get off of YouTube. It's your freaking country. <laughs> if you want to learn more about your history, mm -hmm. um, subscribe. Because mm -hmm. so that's actually gonna make more videos. Clearly about yeah about U.S. history. Mm -hmm. <laughs> definitely what it is. Mm -hmm. If you liked this video, then like it. Click the like button. Always very awkward. Always. Oh yeah, always. How do we end this?
Bye. Bye. <laughs>